the two different Oz fests I went to. The first one was at like the Alamo Dome. It was like shortly after the Alamo Dome opened. It was one of the first Oz fests. And me and Jonathan Lewis, I had gotten tickets from the radio station and we had like seats. So it was okay. And we went and we saw the first band, which was Power Man 5000. And they were known for like having Rob Zombie's little brother as the lead singer. And so we we sat and watched them, but we were in like in the seats and it's kind of like, oh, uh, there's not like standing around moshing with people and stuff. And right before we had gone there, we had stopped at Planet K, which is a, a notorious pipe store, bong shop in, in San Antonio, the conservative ass San Antonio. So Planet K has like always been like where rebels go. And so we stopped at Planet K and we got like some new uh, pipes and he got like a mini bong. <clears throat> and we had like a little bit of a bag of weed and then so we the alamo dome was like inside so we're like oh well we shouldn't smoke in here so we went outside and we just leaned against the wall and it was a concert and it was the oz fest and we had smelt weed at other spots around the venue and so we're just like fuck it let's just it's just weed you know so we the second we loaded a bowl and started smoking it a cop rides up on a bike and he's just a prick and he immediately just takes our stash takes our pipes and kicks us out of the concert. No questions asked, nothing, you know? And, and I think I, I, I don't remember if I had gotten the tickets from a radio station or somebody actually had bought them, but I remember feeling very upset and like gypped, like these tickets were $50 each or something like that. And then and in 1998. And so we're like, damn, you know, look what we got to see one band. And I think Marilyn Manson was playing and a few other bands that we never ended up getting to see because we got kicked out. So fast forward a few years later, and OzFest is here again, except it's at an outdoor venue at Rotama Park. And this time I don't have tickets, but I'm I'm hanging out with like these uh, actual metal guitarists. And I've been I was hanging out with them for like a few weeks, like spending the night at their house, playing cards with them, drinking with them. And they were total goth Black Sabbath lovers, right? And um uh, me and the guitarist, we, and none of us had tickets, but uh, me and the guitarist were like, fuck it, let's just go. We'll just sneak in. It's right, it was right down the street in Rotoma Park in Selma. And so me and like the main guitarist, who was the main part of their band, went there and we're like standing out the venue. And most of the acts had already happened, but he was a huge Black Sabbath fan. And I was like leading the way because I was a few years older, I guess. And I had I'd known the area well because I had been to the racetrack a lot. And so I showed him like a little area that we could sneak in and uh, we start, we like got under the fence and started sneaking in and I lifted the fence up and then he crawled under, then I crawled under. And then as we were walking in, the security saw us. And then, so we just bolted into the crowd. And then by that time, Ozzy Osbourne and Black Sabbath had just gone on stage. And so we were right there and we just kept on moving forward, kept on moving forward until we couldn't move forward anymore so we were just set, totally safe with hundreds of people all around us. And then he gave me a look. He's like, all right. He's like, thank you, G. Thank you. <laughs> and I even surprised myself that day. I'm like, wow, I'm I'm a pretty much a badass. Because before we left, we were in the neighborhood, which was just a few miles away in my mom's neighborhood where they lived. And I was telling all of them, I'm like, we're going to go there. If you put your mind to something, you can do it. And I'm like, we're going to go see Black Sabbath. Are you with me? And then the guitarist was actually the only one. I was like, I'm with you, Greg. I'm going to go. I think I think we'll go get in. I was like, all right. you know. And then we went there and we ended up sneaking in. And uh, I'm not condoning sneaking into concerts because now I see videos on YouTube of people sneaking into concerts. So I'm like, get off. That's wrong. Get off my yard. You should pay for your tickets. And they're just running in. How could you do such a thing? But then 20 years ago, I'm, I'm the one that's like, hey, 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 let's just run in. 